So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new team review video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with Manchester United at this moment in FIFA 20, in my opinion of course. This will be my final tactics video for Manchester United, I already made a few before as you may already know. And yeah, in my opinion the game uh, is a bit on the end, because if we are looking at the older FIFA uh, games after April, there is not much happening anymore. So in my opinion, this is the best way to play with Manchester United the rest of FIFA 21. Before I'm going to show you all of it, I really want to ask you to drop a like under the video. I would really appreciate it if you will do that. You can also subscribe to my channel. It's free to do. I'm doing lots of tactic videos also for other teams. I'm doing tutorial videos for FIFA 21. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right. The first thing that I want to say for Manchester United is that it is a four and a half star team. So if you are uh, having the matchmaking settings default, most of the times you will face a five-star opponent. Most of the times you will face France, Bayern Munich, uh, Liverpool, name them all. And it's really hard to play against these teams. So I can really recommend to change this setting, club quality matching, to restrictive. And what that does, you can see it. It will uh, try to find a club that exactly matches your club's quality. So uh, a, a higher chance that you are facing a four and a half star team. But yeah, it doesn't work that good. It can be that you are still facing five star teams. What you can do at that moment before the match begins, pause the game immediately and leave the match if you don't want to play against those five star teams because it's really hard to play against those five-star teams. They are way, way better. So you can leave immediately before the match begin, before the kickoff, and FIFA doesn't give you a loss. So that's a quick tip from my side. All right, let's start now with the uh, formation. Formation is the 4-2-2-2 formation. Um, we're going to the lineup. The Gea is the goalkeeper. Juan Minsaka is the right defender. Uh, Bailly and Telles are the center backs and I know uh, Telles is not a center back he's a left defender but if you are looking at the center backs uh, they have they have Lindelof 65 pace is not that um, that's fast we have Duan Zebe uh, he is fast with 77 pace but his defensive stats are not that good we have Jones he is really really slow we have Maguire he is even slower than Jones is so there is not much to choose on the center back's possessions. And yeah, I, I say that all the time. You need some fast center back with 70 or more pace. Else, yeah, they are completely useless in my eyes. So I'm using Telles as a center back. He's doing a wonderful job over there. And with Bayi, he is a, yeah, this is a good couple. Uh, on the left side, we are using Shaw. Then we have the midfield with McDominay and Pogba. Uh, the right attacking midfielder is Martial, the left one is uh, Fernandez. You can also switch them if you like, but it doesn't matter that much for the tactics. But yeah, for me, Fernandez on the left side and Martial on the uh, right side is good. And uh, we're using two strikers, uh, that's James and we have Rashford. Both are really fast, of course. The only thing about James is that his shooting is not that good. Um, I'm, I'm showing that after the tactics, I'm showing you a full match of gameplay. And you can see that I create lots and lots of chances with James's speed, give him a through ball. But I'm wasting lots of chances with this guy. So if you are a better finisher than me, it is not that big of a deal, but yeah. I wasted a lot of chances with him. So that's uh, that's one thing. But yeah, he is really dangerous with his runs. And yeah, it's the best option in my opinion. All right, let's go to the tactics. I use drop back for defensive style with a width of three bars and a depth of three bars. So that is because the defense is a bit weak in my opinion. And yeah, I want everybody to come back when uh, you don't have the ball and Pogba. By nature he is not really playing defensive so with the drop back you force him a bit more to come back immediately when you don't have the ball uh, the offensive style is fast build up with a width of seven bars plays in the box five bars quarters and free kicks both three bars uh, the instructions for the players 
the right defender won't be Saka stay back while attacking both center backs are just default and Shaw stay back while attacking and we're going to the midfielders this guy good passing lanes stay back while attacking and cover center so he's the most defensive midfielder Pogba is playing as the most attacking one good passing lanes get forward and cover center uh, the two central attacking midfielders only thing I changed is get into the box for the cross so Martial and Fernandez both get into the box for the cross and then the two strikers only thing I changed for them is get in behind as you can see here all right that's it for Manchester United I hope you will try it out yourself and of course I hope you will win with this because that's why I'm making these videos to help you guys win matches uh, you can see now one of my matches that I played with this team in division one so if you want to see how it works in game you can watch the match and if you don't want to watch it you're free to leave now of course thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye
substitution for Borussia Dortmund. Coming off the pitch, number 11, Marco Reus. To be replaced by number 10, Jordan Hazen. Goal for Manchester United, number nine, Anthony Martial. 